check out this track, folks, in the same spot that we found tracks last year after that, that Bigfoot sighting caught on video, the Sinks one. Look at the hill. The hill is tapering around the six inch mark. Let me get down, I can get closer to it this way. Let's see, this thing, thing sunk in so deep, it's over five inches where it tapers at the hill. And then um, up at the toe area, the toe splay is um, seven inches, over seven inches. And then the length on this bad boy, it is almost 15 inches. This is consistent with one of the tracks we were finding last year's, and it's heading off that way. And Jenny and I found other places where it left tracks not as nice as that one. That is badass. Well, it comes up out of the water. I, I just, see. Mm -hmm. it's almost as if it jumped to sink in that deep. I bet you he was standing, standing on the on shore it. over there and jumped, but look. He's um, probably just standing on that rock right there. You people, I weigh over 200 pounds. Watch. Jenny, will you film me? Mm -hmm. I am going to jump in front of that track. Look, I don't even sink. I'm stomping down as hard as I can right there, and I'm barely making a depression. Look how heavy this giant creature was to slam in right there that deep. That makes me think he leaped from across over there somewhere. Because I don't see his tracks in the water. No. And I think for him to be able to sink like that, he made a leap. This looks pretty fresh. Well, it's muddy. That This looks like within the last 24 hours, maybe even today. Also might be some of one right along here. That's where the hill went in. Right there. Okay, let me point out the top of it because I can't even see it through the oh right here up. Oh, here. That I can't tell for sure. Just a, the amazing track. I cannot believe the depth on this bugger. It appears that we have found fresh Bigfoot activity in the area. The last time we found Bigfoot tracks here and casted one, right on this little peninsula where the river is. About this time last year we found the tracks after the Bigfoot video. We wanted to go across the river because it was obvious that it had jumped this river. And instead of going up to where we heard the vocalization, since there's Bigfoot evidence in the area, we're crossing the river. Jenny found a spot where we can cross without getting wet. We were just going to put our bogs on and cross, but she found an awesome place to cross right over here. The water's lower than usual. Last year when we found the track here, the river was high. There's no way we would have been able to cross here. We're going in the direction that I heard the vocalizations when we were casting that track. I can see where something with the flat foot stepped in this region. Right over there. 
is where we cast the footprint. I want to go on the other side of the footprint where it looked like it come from and see if we can find any tracks over there. Yeah, last year when we found the tracks, it looked like it had jumped the river also. Keep an eye out for Bigfoot shapes, especially if they move. I just heard a wood knock, Jen. All right, I see evidence of where it's walking up and down hill. That's the direction it's coming in and out. And it appears that it leaped. I can see a little bit of a slide mark right there. I think it leaped from right around this area because of the damage. If it indeed leaped from right here, that's over 20 feet. That's like an Olympic freaking jumper if it leaped. And I don't see any damage inside the river. I think it leapt from over there. Yeah, that, that would make the most sense that it would stand over there and, and leap right there. But I'm only seeing damage right here. I see a slide and damage right here, but it very well could have just slid down, leaped onto that rock where it wouldn't have left any evidence on that rock, and then boom. If that leap right there is probably 15 feet. If it leaped from here, to me that's I don't think over a car length. Yeah, I don't think it would have leapt from here to there. Look at right there. If it leapt from here, it would have leapt right there where those big dig marks are right there. And I'd like to point out this uh, deadfall log that snapped right there. I mean, a moose, anything could have stepped on it and snapped it right there. But was it our Squatch buddy that comes and goes from here? I mean, this is the second time we have found evidence that it is crossing the river right here. Okay, and the direction the footprints came, Jenny and I heard a wood knock. And I'm seeing all kinds of damage to the ground here, like something with big feet is coming and going. What? Um, something just busted this off. Yeah, there's a snap off. It looks like... Look, you can see where it grabbed it right there, Jen. I know, that's what I'm... Where the bark's damaged, that's where its hands ripped across as it tore it down and it tore the bark off. I take it this was already dead on the tree. I think it's from a, a dead tree. This one where we're under has a lot of dead well, branches. I think it was dead when it got ripped off because the, some of the um, pine needles are still green. It's also got pine cones on it. Yeah. I've never been over here in my whole life. The water's always too high and yeah, it's kind of been a drought year, so we're able to get across. Because it's been a drought year, that little water source may be a lot more important than it is in years past. I've always wanted to see what's up on these rocks. Yeah. It's like a staircase. Look, another what appears to be a torn off branch. And we all know these creatures have a snapping habit. All right, I just heard something move over there. In this section that we're walking on right now, you can tell that something with big feet has been coming and going, along with other animals. That's Bigfoot. That's Bigfoot shaped right there. Holy yeah, crap, that is amazing. I like it when they step in this molehill stuff. It's soft and it leaves an impression. Okay, it is over 14 in length. And that looks like it's up to the big toe area. And then up at the toe area, 
it is over six. And like I said before, um, the toes can uh, width can change because sometimes it'll spread its toes, sometimes it'll bring it together for whatever reason, balance. And then down at the hill, it's tapering about five. The ground is hard. I, I here see though. it. I see it damaged all the way there. If it's da if that's indeed part of the track, it's about sixteen, close to sixteen. So that's. That would be the same dimensions as the one that we're casting down by the river, where it leaped the river. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that's not a full one. You found look a partial at, one. That might be a, I mean, look at there, you that can see toes. The, yeah. Right there. That could be the just the front of the mid tarsal it's just up on its no those are toes of, yeah come look over yeah that's what i'm saying the front of the oh. mid tarsal yeah i see them let's see what the width on that is seven it's consistent with the other one that other one's between six and eight all the time depending on if it's spreading its toes or not yeah there's no claws there but there's toes we do know that there's at least two individuals usually in the area. There could be more. It looked like there was a juvenile track down there at the river too. Yeah, it actually looks like a little bit of cover if... If the, ra the rain and the snow is coming from that direction... And wind... You'd stay warm right here. It looks like something's touched the ground right there. Yeah, all the, all the pine needles are cleared. See right here how they're not cleared? But they're cleared right there. That... Looks like bobcat scat. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past a bobcat to nap right here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if bobcat's on the dining menu for squatch. Probably not. Bet you if he can catch it, you'd eat it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's not at the top of the list. <laughs> I want to go up on the top here. I've always wanted to see what the top of this rock ledge was all about. I see where something flat-footed stepped there. It looks like it has a mid-tarsal. It looks like a smaller one than the 16-inch individual that we casted, though. I'm seeing a lot of evidence of something coming up and down this. There's a... What? What's there, the... There's a collection of sticks here. There's a really good game trail that goes all the way, pretty deep. Goes right through here. Goes all along through there and goes down through those trees right there. Yep, and there's a bunch of sticks laying on the game trail right here. Something might have came out of that tree and knocked them all down. Yep. There's a big foot track. Okay, this thing's huge, and it may be because it slid a little bit or something, but um, it's a little over 17 from uh, the big toe down to the hill, toes up here, and then it goes up that way. And then um, the width is eight inches. This is the big one. This may very well be the one that we cast and he, he slid an inch backwards as he was going uphill, but he used his whole foot right here. And the, probably the reason why he didn't sink in any deeper is because... There's a boulder big there. Old, big old rock right there. But you can kind of see how he still made his little mid-tarsal. He still kicked up a little bit, even though the ground's pretty solid right there. And he's going right where we've been wanting to check. This is the where the trackway is going. This is insane. I see where he stepped again right here. Look, his toes really made some divots. His toes really, look at how they popped in. I mean, a couple of toes together right here made a big impression, but um, these 
two end toes right here really popped in there. And let's see the length on this bugger. This is the one that's 14. We're documenting two individuals, one that's right around 14 and one that's um, about 16 or better. And this one's seven and a half inches wide up there. It's really hard to tell. I'm having a hard time seeing the edge of it where it starts and begins there. I see it on this side. The toes but, are just really clear on that one. Yeah, they, that's probably why the, the back end isn't much weight. He put all his weight on his toes right there as he was, as he's Hold, heading up that way. Take the camera and point it into the holes. Okay, I hope you guys can see this as well as we do, but there's where one toe drove in at the end, another one there, and then it looks like a couple of toes right here did all this damage. You're not seeing the exact foot, you're just seeing the damage it makes to the soil, and this is some pretty Here's one. heavy soil. They're just standing on their toes. Here's yeah, because it's really steep right here, yeah. and they're getting ready to leap up on top of these rocks. Right there. Okay, this is consistent with what we found last year. We're finding two different sized individual tracks, and I think we may have even found a juvenile. The mama may have let it walk around down by the river for a little while, but I think it's the tracks are small enough that she's probably carrying him. Plus, he doesn't weigh enough to leave tracks all over the place like his parents. This is just nuts, Jan. More Bigfoot food. Bigfoot food leaving his calling card. Here's a rock stack. These look purposely placed. Not saying it's the Bigfoot tracks. Those individuals not saying they did it. But those look purposely placed. I've always wanted to cup up on these rocks because you can tell that they have a great vantage point down to the river. Where are they? Really rocky up on the top. This is definitely when they get to here, if they don't want to leave tracks, they don't have to. They can do exactly what Jenny just did and just hop from rock to rock. They left some really nice impressions leaping up onto these rocks though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jenny and I were talking, that's some of the best visual toes we've seen. I mean, I've, we found deeper toes that just isn't as visually appealing to the camera, but those looked like they were showing up really well. Yeah, that looks like right part of an impression. Leaping up onto that rock, perhaps. The toes are up here, heel back here. I'm not gonna measure every single track that we find. The nice ones I will, but that's obviously Bigfoot. If if this was the first track that we found today, I'd be like, huh, huh, I may not even film it or make a big deal, but because we have found a couple of dozen, some amazing ones, one that's being cast right now, I'm gonna point these out to y'all. It looks like a rock got kicked out of its spot right there. up here. I know. Eerily quiet. There's no birds. There's no chipmunks. Did you notice it got really quiet after it did that knock before we come up on the rocks? Yeah. Why aren't there chipmunks here? I don't know. Either they're afraid of the area or they all got ate. <laughs> <laughs>
the birds are being quiet. Yeah. First X structure on this side. Not saying Bigfoot did that, it could be a coincidence. to the ground here. That would be something eating. Something, something dug into there. Look. Mm -hmm. Must be something good to eat. Found another Bigfoot track. That Jenny just um, hopped over. Jenny hopped off from that rock to the next one. But there's another Bigfoot track. I'm going to measure it. The hill's deep enough. It's over 14. The hill's back there. Toes up here. This is a big time moose area. We filmed a moose a couple of weeks ago, not too far from here. Jenny filmed it. I just want to say this would be the smartest spot for a squatch to stay in this area if he wants easy, quick access to the river. He's on the opposite side of the river as the road. And this is the first time that we've ever come across because the water is just too deep. You got to get wet, blah, 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 blah. You know, I know people will still come across here, but not as often as the other side. And then uh, from on top of this rocky top of this little mountain here, I mean, they can, they can see down into this valley where the, the people and animals are going to be. And that wood knock we heard when we were coming up towards these rocky, this rocky top may very well have been the sentry warning the clan that someone's coming just a single knock i had this camera running at the time so hopefully it picked it up i had the, my camera running too and jenny's got the, the badass microphone so even a better chance she's got the shotgun microphone on that one yeah this is the top yeah. we all know bigfoot or ridge walkers they like the tops i mean i know they still have to come down in the valleys for stuff that they need but i think they stick to the tops because it's easier to spot and hear something coming that's just great Mark. usually i don't know it could be antlers they usually uh scrape up the whole tree when they do it I don't know if I'm hearing things, but I thought I heard a distant wood knock to our right. Kind of right and in the front, so southwest. Look how well blazed Holy cow. these animal trails are. Look at this one right here. They even, um, and this is where the people don't normally go, is where we're at now. They've even worn through the log. See, you can see where they come right through here. I'm not seeing any tennis shoes or hiking boots on this trail at all. It's all animal-like. Wait, stop for one second. I want to show people where the water is down below. There's the creek we come up from. It's all the Bigfoot traffic down there. Just amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed a look at this area. We're gonna hike around, look for more Bigfoot evidence. Definitely put it on this camera. We're gonna go and dig up that cast after it sets up. But it's just exciting being over here. I feel like this is probably the side of the creek and the mountaintop that the Bigfoot stay on if they do habitat this area. Well, that's a gruesome burl.
it looks like an alien attached to that tree, that burl, so weird. You guys see it? <laughs> like a squid burl. Here's another Bigfoot shaped track right there, people. The hill down there, toes up there. Looks consistent with the other two size tracks we've been finding in the area. But they don't go deep enough to show anything. Let's see, there's digits right here. Yeah, I think you're right. The castable tracks we found up here suggest what they might be though. Oh, there's a draw right here. A lot of game likes draw. Oh, what the heck? This has the protection of all these trees around it. Yeah, there's no reason why that one should have broke. This may be a Bigfoot trail marker. There's another one. Oh my gosh, it wrapped it around the tree. Mm -hmm. You gotta be kidding me. What's amazing about this is it's got the protection of all these trees. It's in a grove. So it just don't make sense that the wind wrapped this around the next bigger tree and it looks like it's been damaged and manipulated once in the past. I mean a Bigfoot may have done that years ago and the tree survived and then it wrapped it around again over this last year. Okay I'm five foot seven so I'm just me measuring the height above my head and you would have to imagine it would have to be able to reach above that snap off area and I am getting over four feet above my head. So that's nine feet, seven inches, nine and a half feet that it snapped that up there. And that's about three inches in diameter, maybe more at the point of snap. That shows size and strength right there. May very well be the Bigfoot whose footprint we're casting right now. Also, it looks like something's been hunkering down in there and there's a big pile of poop. I don't know what kind of poop that is. Something has been sleeping there. Yeah, see, bedding. they dug it out right there and there and it's soft. Okay, even though there's all this Bigfoot evidence, I'm not um, collecting scat. I've done that in the past. I'm done doing that. Nobody wants mm -hmm. it. <laughs> nope, no, nobody wants your Bigfoot poop. <laughs> and it contaminates easily. Uh, billions of bacteria in there. I will collect it if I see the Bigfoot actually do it. But, I don't know, why would a Bigfoot poop in a place that it sleeps? Unless it comes back and cleans it out, maybe it's saying, hey, don't sleep here, this is my spot. But who knows if that's a Bigfoot that's been sleeping here and smashing everything down. This is actually the direction from the footprint. The tracks led and we heard a wood crack heading up here. You know, when you hear a wood crack, is it actually slapping against the tree? Or is it doing something like that? Probably whatever's most convenient at the time. That's a nice, comfortable bedding spot, it looks like. And it's, it's huge. It looks like, you know, three big squatches or moose could lay down in there. Right where there's a snap off. A couple of them. Flat. Oh, oh, that one's measurable. Toes up here. And then you can see where this stick, it's covering it. The stick probably, it probably broke this stick when it walked here. The stick was probably here. And there's part of the stick, here's the other. But I'm gonna move it so that you guys can see the track more definitively but you can see the hill impression goes clear back to here and the toes up here so this is a this is a good sized track this is the one that's almost 16 right around 16 in length up at the toes and I can see a toe underneath this stick over here it's about eight and down at the hill looks to be 
almost six. It's consistent. That's a good find. Yeah, it's consistent with one the of the individuals. Ones. Okay, there's Bigfoot track. There's Kelly <laughs> track. I just want to show you what my shoe looks like. And here's the toes up here of a Squatch doing damage to this type of soil and organic matter. They're and just... it's, it's going in the direction of the bedding spot that yep. you found, Jenny. Yeah, I know, but they're just everywhere. It's like somebody was just milling around it's, in here. It's like they stay here. They're here a lot. Maybe not after today. They may be like, hey, uh, those weirdos put something in our footprint. Some white stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Are we weirdos to Bigfoot? We're weirdos. Yep, we're here searching for sink Sasquatch. And I think we found evidence that they're here again this year. Along with the people with the Bigfoot reports. Gosh, there's just Bigfoot tracks all over up here. Here's another one where it made an awesome mid-tarsal in the track. That one's deep. Toes on this side of it. The heel back here. And a little bit of a mid-tarsal rift. Elk is Bigfoot food or it eats the same thing as elk because they're always being spotted in the places elk are. I said something big stepped right there, but I can't tell what it is. Yeah. It, it's big. Whatever did that. Could be a partial squatch. Could be a moose. It's just not enough. Not when you see things like that, you can tell. Oh, that's a hooved animal. There's, you know. There's one of the elk There was a study in Colorado done, and they determined that the time Bigfoot sightings are happening is the same elevation that the elk herds are in the state of Colorado. Just picking through here and getting uh, all the bugs out of here. But they're picking through pretty precisely. Yeah, they're not clawing it up. Oh, no, see? Whoa! It's more like they're picking. Like it's this. almost like fingernails and yeah, it's very careful. Mm -hmm. You know, if um, you just pick them out and eat them and you leave their habitat, they might keep reproducing. It may be a tactic. Bears usually rip that shit apart. There's so do badgers. Yeah. Badgers just make sawdust out of it. That, with Bigfoot tracks all around. And maybe it's keeping bear and and badgers and stuff away from the area that it forages in. But this is something that can come, keep coming back to. The, the termites in this are going to keep reproducing in the grubs. That is odd. That is so cool. Because we have found dozens and dozens of tracks here today. Found dozens and dozens of them across the river last year. I'm going out on the limb and saying they habitate here. Maybe not all year round, maybe not every year, but certain times of the year. Well, we came here today because we got reports of people hearing them in, right in this bowl. So that's why we're here. We were here just a couple of months ago and had no plans on coming back here this season. And you folks that told us about your Bigfoot vocalizations, thank you. Got us to come back and look again this year. You know, two months later, whatever it is, maybe three. And we didn't find Bigfoot evidence the last time. But now we're finding it. So, you know, thank you to everybody that's helping the cause. You got us out here and it's just amazing what we're finding today. Okay, after we found the bedding spot, it looked like it they had walked all around there, but we didn't see where they went any further. We just see the tracks coming back this way. So we're circling around and seeing if we can find any more tracks. We're finding the same kind of scat that was in that shelter. Heard a vocalization off that way. Could have been a crow. The camera might have picked it up. Some of the best toes that we've found in a while right down at the base of these cliffs where you could see that they're leaping up onto the rocks and coming up on the top. And then we found two snap-offs right by a bedding spot over there. Not saying it's Bigfoot, 
but we're finding Bigfoot evidence in the area. People are hearing it. The vocalizations, and this time last year, the famous Logan Canyon Sinks Bigfoot video was filmed. Just an amazing place. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.